Here's the assembled frame for the basin of the distiller. Done here in the lengthwise. It is 3 8 longer than the top and 3 8 wider than the top. Filled in here with two, uh, two by twos and uh, spaced them at 13 inches. This gives some even spacing for support of the plywood and insulation and the glass such as that. So that's the assembled frame right there for the basin of the water distiller. Okay, after the frame, what it is, there's a quarter inch plywood and then one half an inch insulation this is polycyanurate uh, insulation now we've got the end pieces right here so we'll put the end pieces on first and line them up with the uh, uh, corners on the long pieces so I only had to mark all these these uh, sides so right here I've got an inch and a quarter marked off of here that will go flush with the insulation That'll give me enough room for uh, the angle and the uh, silicone seal. Oh, I've cut these to go flush with both ends, and then the uh, front piece will go past that uh, and, and go even off of that. So it'll be a butt joint. So it'll be a butt joint like that, with the front piece going on and covering the joint from the front. Okay, so I'm going to put that on right now, same way, I'm going to screw it in here. Uh, also, on these sides right here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pre-drill the holes and use the plastic anchors in the screws right there to, uh, and the PVC glue in the joint to seal that up uh, once it's in place up here at the top. And that is to be, uh, the complete the sides. Okay, the sides are all assembled of the basin and I'm using a black aluminum trim coil this basin is 34 and a quarter inches wide there's one 24 inch piece of trim coil I'm overlapping it one quarter of an inch with the remaining piece and this will this will be the absorber surface and next we'll uh, seal the sides to provide a watertight seal for the basin Okay, clean the piece of glass and put it down on top of the uh, aluminum, the black aluminum, and then I've taken some aluminum angle, one inch angle, which will be go around here and frame this all in. What I want to do is make sure that my corner is reinforced. What I've done is take some of the uh, uh, it's like the landscape, uh, the weed fabric, and fold a little corner right in here, and slit it up halfway, and then crease it. And this, this will be folded just like that. Go into the corner. We're gonna put some uh, silicone in there first. There's a uh, number one silicone right here. Is what I'm using. Silicone number one. And put that on under it, press it down in it, and then work it with a work it with a uh, flat trowel until it looks similar to that. It's worked in the uh, the thin set is worked in there and reinforces that corner right there. The rest will be a good bond all along here. And what I've done is I've taken and sanded the back of the what's going to be glued with the thin uh, with the uh, silicone I've sanded this up real rough roughed it up and cleaned it off with lacquer thinner then that'll go on top all the way around it's framed in okay now before I install <coughs> the aluminum angle into the corner I went ahead and, and put a, a fine coat of the silicone all across down the bead down the uh, uh, down the surface of the glass right here and I've worked it into the surface of the glass to ensure here is the uh, assembled basin for the water distill 
see I've run the aluminum, I've taken off the tape here and uh, run the aluminum angle in the corners and it has a good seal underneath we reinforced the corners right here and I've filled in on the edges right here made it look real good and this is the basin for the water still right here the next step is uh, to do a water test and make sure it doesn't leak